matter of minutes until the arrival. President Kennedy is being rushed to Parkland Hospital. Got something. It's the president. He's coming in. He's probably got the flu. Pleasure meeting you, Peter. Thank you very much. I really enjoyed the film. I would definitely recommend this to everyone, anyone and everyone I meet. Just in your own words, just sell it to my viewers. You know, look, it's, the, it's a movie about a thing that we think we know everything about, but really we know nothing. And it's, it's a movie about, um, you know, one of the most seminal important things that has happened to us as a global culture in the last 50 years. Um, unpeels away a lot of the things we think we know, um, a lot of the speculation, a lot of the theory, and just gets to the emotional ground truth of what it was like to survive the experience itself. Doctor? Who's uh, the attendant? Right now, it is just you. Do something! It is the president. I know who it is. I need pressure right here! I mean, that's one thing I really enjoyed is you get the behind the scenes, a bit more overall picture of the whole event. Yeah. Uh, personally, I'm, I was just thinking, you were, a, you, done, you were a journalist, you're a writer. What made you go into the directing side and as a, as a first film? I mean, I believe this is amazing and is a, is a challenge. Why such a uh, controversial subject? Well, controversial subjects are interesting, right? They're compelling and people want to know about them and um, they're big stories. I and mean, so all those are you know, ingredients for a story that needs to be told. Um, you know, my typical line of inquiry as a journalist was always to pierce below the mythology of things we think we know about. And Parkland does that about the Kennedy assassination. You know, I didn't think about the scale of the story. I just thought about it as a story that needed telling, to be honest with you. You know, if you think about the things you do in those terms, you get very self-conscious and paralyzed, and then you can't move because you think you're going to screw it up. You know, for me, this was a movie about people, like anything else. They were going through something extraordinary, but they were ordinary people going through the extraordinary. And that's an important tale to tell, especially in the context of the story. Listen, I can't tell you everything right now, but you knew about Oswald. You shouldn't have told me that. You don't want me to know that. It's a very undignified end for a very dignified man. Overall, with, with the first time directing, your budget, how did you manage to get the cast and the 1963 feel? Bribery, <laughs> extortion, murder. All no. oh, right, so that's your next film. <laughs> <laughs> you know, look, uh, I look at the poster and I look at those names and those are some of the best actors of our time and um, they just wanted to be part of the story. You know, they met with me, they trusted me to guide them and guide the story, but we're all in on it together and, um, uh, you know, no one made money off the movie, right? It's a very low budget film, but it feels enormous and feels big because the story is so big and the production design is extraordinary and the shooting is extraordinary and um, I think the movie feels bigger in scale and emotion an intrinsic value than you know than its budget belies. Definitely, it was very every dollar well spent. I think is yeah, logical, every dollar on the screen for sure. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, I have to ask Jackie Weaver's character, the one that played Oswald's mother, was she really like that? Was she insane, or did she really believe all those things? Margaret Oswald is one of the strangest, narcissistic, eccentric people I've ever known of. She was very blue collar and very low but put on airs and pretend to be very high. So her accent was everywhere. Jackie did an extraordinary amount of research to get it right. And uh, her performance, and I've met people who knew Margaret Oswald who've seen the movie, and it, they're flabbergasted that Jackie could have nailed it. So, you know, look, I think that the, I think the instinct is always to attack something you don't understand or have never seen before in general in life. And Jackie's performance is just simply completely unique because it's on the money. Did she, was she hesitant or did she want to push more? Or did he push her more to, you know? You know, look, Jackie Weaver, two-time Academy Award nominee, um, I hired her to let her do her thing. Did I need to push her? No, not at all. She's, um, I just set her loose. She's remarkable, yeah. Jesus Christ, this was not supposed to happen. Uh, final question, uh, you've been nominated uh, at the Venice Festival mm -hmm. and now the London Festival, mm -hmm. congratulations on that. Mm -hmm. What would have been or just a nomination, what does that mean for you? Um, I mean, I know it sounds, you know, you don't make movies to win awards. Uh, I'll tell you one thing, it's, um, you know, for my first film to be in Venice and Toronto and London is an incredible honor. Um, I, you know, I was in London a lot as a journalist, I spent a lot of time here, so 
it's very nice for full circle experience for me to come back. So really a pleasure meeting you, Peter. I wish you all the best for your next film. Really looking forward to what you do next. Uh, and all the best for the nomination. Thank you very much. Thank you.